So this is what you'll be using. Back in my using. bag, dog. Conscious. Iso. Dumb. Back in my bag and I ain't gotta brag, I do this shit for real. And we was Hola, down. Hola, I'm here. Long time, no chat, no see, no DIY, no video, no renovation. But I'm back. Today I am doing, I want to do the door to the closet. So I want to have a sliding door for the closet. Ah, there's a hole to do on top of the lens. Eh? Shag's life. Ah, so we're making a sliding a band door and or rather a sliding door because it's not like a the style is usually called sliding band door and i want mine to have glass and i want it to be colored glass uh there's people who do frosted glass and there's people who do um who just do like wood or whatever personally i want mine to be colorful because i want it to also um like match with the vibes of the rest of the house right and also because the fact that the the closet is going to be like just probably one plain color and a bit of texture because it's a place for clothes and storing things and whatnot so i was like okay the color for that space can be brought in um through the door before i even get started on chopping bows and doing the whatever months ago i i had uh lawrence if you don't know lawrence that means you're new here if you're new here welcome lawrence is my welder so i had lawrence make me the hardware so this is what we'll be using to slide our door back and forth okay so one on each side so this so our door is like this one on each side and then it just glides so we have our wheels these are wheels and so basically he made me the hardware for the sliding door thingy because i checked no one was selling like well this cat no one was selling like actual hardware and even when i checked like the prices on amazon and stuff um they're quite actually they're quite expensive so i was like oh okay it's a good thing i know someone who's really good at this you know so i i sent him some photos and showed him like exactly what i wanted and he was able to do it so these ones are for um the sliding thing and i don't know if you can see but like behind me next to the window there's like a a long thing leaning let me see Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. It's okay. Sorry. Sorry. Again. So, this here is the the railing, the rail that the wheels will be rolling on on the wall. So, this goes onto the wall, then the other two go onto the door, and then they hook onto this and then that's how it slides back and forth. Then on the edges, he made sure to put stoppers for me. This is to make sure that once the dog goes on, it's not going, that's, that's cat fur and dog fur. Um, so these are stoppers to make sure that the, it wouldn't, like the dog wouldn't go all the way and then fall off, if that makes sense, okay? So before we even get started on the bows and the whatever, I want to paint this. And if you know me, what color are we painting this, kids? <laughs> kids? Hand up. What paint are we going to use for this? Yes, you're absolutely right. We are going with matte black. Okay, so I want to first um, spray this, spray paint this, like the hardware. And as the hardware is drying, uh, we can start cutting the bows. There's like a tube that's been welded into the flat bit. So we have the flat bit. This is where the rails are going to hook into and, and glide. So this is to create um, some distance between the wall and our whatever. This portion of the video is brought to you by Skillshare, an online platform where creatives can grow, expand, Band and diversify their skills and I decided to take a, a really really good meditation class by Justin Michael Williams which is modern meditation discover your potential power and purpose and when I tell you after the first class I was already feeling lighter I was already feeling in tune because I really 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 enjoyed the process of meditation and 
I think at one point or another we've all tried meditation and for some of us are like okay maybe it's not for me or the the idea we have of meditation is very different which is like oh you're supposed to steal your mind and make it quiet or whatever which one thing I loved about like even the introduction of the class is that it's not about that like especially for this class it's not about uh, not thinking because that's what <laughs> that's what most people think meditation is but Michael tells you that if you can worry you can meditate and I was like <laughs> okay I guess I'm really good at this after st starting to take this class uh, it's not been about calming my mind but more about observing and actually listening to what's happening up in there so um, if you're interested in this class I think I would recommend this class to like everyone especially if you're an overthinker definitely recommend this class and as per usual you know I got your back if you'd want to give this course a try or any other course on the platform for the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description box you'll be able to access a Skillshare trial for a whole entire month so the first 1,000 people to click on the link in the description box as well as the pinned comment will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So make sure to click on that link and also um, tell me which classes you've been taking so far because we've been on this journey together and when I tell you my Pilates has been so good for me. Mm, so good. So tell me which classes you've been taking in the comment section down below and tell me how that's been going for you. For now, let's get back to the video. the idea is to make two frames and then stick them together uh, but also I'll decide on that depending on how heavy one frame is so I'm going to start with the first one I've already taken my measurements um, I know the space um, the space in between uh, is three feet and the height is 81 um, 81 inches uh, but because the door will be hanging over will be hanging over the the wall and my measurements have to work with um, a bit of overlap on top um, it has to be slightly lifted at the base because then if it's all the way on the ground then it will just end up um, getting stuck on the floor which is what we don't want and then it also have to have it also needs to have a bit of overlap on the sides of the something called of the wall that way it's like it's not just the hole that's covered but like slightly over the wall as well so I need to cut my first pieces for the first frame and then decide after that do I want to cut from that side or this side let me figure that out right now measuring width of our door which um, we're going with 38 it's going to be 38 inches however um, this is going to be attached on the inside of the the four whatever so we have to minus the two fours which is basically minus at this point minus eight inches which means we have to cut this the two boards at 30 inches <laughs> There you go, that's tight enough. 
So that's going to hold that. Now, what's going to hold this? That is the big question. Um, oh, what if we actually like, use the weight of this to hold it? time to attach this uh, tops and bottoms to the sides. So that's how we want that to attach. And it's been nice and straight. And then we attach this other piece. was to do two of these and then have them attached to each other to make it heavier but now I'm thinking I don't think I want that honestly so it's about five feet uh, so that means the spacings are going to be 30 which is basically what I had just said earlier I don't know I have that there but I like this size do you see like this looks like a good a good glass size you get like I know I'm talking to you but it sounds like I'm talking to myself uh, so I was saying if I end up doing uh, if I double this I'll have to also add a piece on the wall to account for that like a, I'll have to have a piece of bow on the wall where the railing is going to attach to so I don't think I want to start doing So now I've washed my exterior lights, <laughs> my security lights. Um, I want to do the routing real quick and then um, that way I can paint this tonight. Like I can go with it in the house and paint it. And then tomorrow is just putting the glass, the hardware and hanging it and doing the wall stuff, which I can do in the morning before I actually leave the house. So let's see. It is heavy. I've never used this with this bit before, so let's let's see how this goes. This battery is dying. Let's switch it out. I'm gonna do uh, like the testing first so that I know the amount of pressure I need to put. So I'm basically making a trench on all these edges like this so that the glass can come and sit on the on this bit, right? with this mini making this thing okay so this is trying like the one in the middle I've done like three so it's, it's it does feel like a tiny trench but still needs to be deeper than that and also the thing is it needs to be on the edge so now that's the other question it's like how do I make sure that it's like on the edge Missouri let's see neat so I'm um, thinking I'll do one and then do a second time um, on the same. Now that I'm looking at all this, I'm thinking this is going to be too much work for tonight. I, there's no way I can do this tonight. My biggest fear is waking up tomorrow and we have like that foggy, misty, whatever. So um, fingers crossed that we won't have that. But I think I'll have to just take my things and place them on the wall just to be safe. 
and then in case you have the misty foggy whatever we'll have to do this over there so let me just pack up my stuff and then i'll see you guys in the morning because now i have to go to rain's house real quick hola good morning so um it's been a very gray morning cold drizzly foggy and everything in between it's been two days since we were working on the door fundi and i so i've, I've called daniel he's one of the fundis i work with um this i borrowed the thingy from him the router because i'm like hey mimi i'm struggling to figure it out and also like the screws didn't go all the way into the pocket holes so he's gone to pick the grinder so that we can cut out the screws so it's flush and then now we are able to do our our tunnel for the nini for the glass Now that we've done the thingy, by the way, after doing it uh, with Daniel, I'm like, wow, I'm so glad I asked him to um, help me before he left because I would not have been able to do that by myself. It's a lot of work because I even him wasn't able to do it by himself. Like I had to constantly keep holding it for him. Yes, attention seeker. Wow. So I had to like hold the plate, the nini steady for him. I had to move it around for him and all. So, and also it like required a lot of energy. Like the pulling and pushing is not a problem. It's like if you don't have someone actually holding it for you as you do that, it was going to be a struggle. Anyway, now that that's done, I want to paint it. And then as it's drying, I want to come and do the railing thingy. I want to come install the rail. So what I want to do now is I want to first bring in that frame and then confirm it works with the door because then that will also help me know how high up my rail is going um so it's going to be a lot easier for me to sort that out Okay, what did I do wrong? Because this is short. Oh no, I know what I did wrong. Remember it was like 81? I think when I was doing the math, I confused myself. Oh. When I was counting the bowels, I counted like in pieces of um, like I wanted for ones that were going to be six foot each and then that's what I used instead like when I was <sighs> so yeah these things happen so to remedy this what I'm going to do you see it's a good thing I decided to come and do this I am going to add a piece that's going to technically we're adding like one foot a whole other foot because this is six feet it should have been seven but you see, I was counting pieces of, like, let me show you how I'd written. So in my notes, this probably makes zero sense to anyone but me. See, it's like four, one, 24 feet, 6 feet each, because I wanted 4 pieces. 16, 4 feet, 4 pieces. 12 feet, whatever, because I was going to do a rounded whatnot. Then when I decided to do, because this is when I was calculating the costing of the bows and everything, and how much that would cost. And then here I wrote 6 feet by 3 feet. That's where I made the mistake. Because here it says 81. And then here it says 82 by 38. Which is what we were going for. Then I ended up using 6 feet instead. What? I confused myself. That was on me. That was definitely on me. I read the wrong thing. This is why I like having a, a cutting list. And then I mark them as I cut them. Because I'd have confirmed. Okay, so now. Oh, wow. See? That's why I was wondering why the spacing was so small. Now it makes sense. So, I have attached the extra pieces. It's actually becoming heavier. So it's the top. 
in the bottom I've added uh, pieces of scrap mouse that I had these ones used to be a shelf a long time ago because I did not want to have to cut her from that board because I want to use that board to do my 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 cabinet for the bathroom so yeah um, so I've attached using pocket holes same situation as before <laughs> Finally back inside, it is extremely, extremely cold. I'm so happy to be back in the house because yo, this is not a joke. No, it's as in it's a cold day. I am actually thinking of making Uji before I continue this project. Hello. So it's looking bright-ish outside, but it's still cold. So I've had my Uji and it's been like an hour. And I also have a hot water bottle. <laughs> So yeah, um, I had sort of figured out how I want to go about hanging, 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 yes, drilling the, the rail on the wall. And then these are the screws I'm using. I forget their name. Uh, I've used them so many times before. These are the same screws that I used to hold my old vanity. You remember when I had a vanity, a floating vanity? These are the screws that I used to hold that up. So that's what that looks like. And then the wall plugs. Like this. Run. So that's technically the height. Maybe the best way to draw a straight, a straight line. A straight line is always using a spirit level. For me, it always works out better than any other nini I've used, any other method I have used. So, I just got off the call, uh, a call with a Buddha guy I've sent. It's, uh, it's someone who was once sent to me by one of the guys I buy stuff from. And I sent him to go find me the glass. So he went to the Ziska Center close by. And I spoke to that guy on the phone, like the owner of the shop. And he's like, oh, the best price I can give you for... Um, those pieces is 560 because this is after he was charging 597 I'm like that's almost 600 per piece and he's like at yeah the best price I can give is 540 and I was like nope your prices are too high and then he kept asking me okay when I was younger how much per square meter I'm like I asked in one square meter and I know that's too expensive for the size that I want and then he just kept insisting at you oh, that's the best price I just went online Okay, I went online and searched for Duca Lavio. Alright. I got a number. I called. That guy did the conversion. 250 bob per piece. And I'm like, that's more in line with how much I would expect a piece to cost. Because they are slightly larger than usual. And his is not even 3mm. It's 4mm. It's even thicker than the one that this guy was going to sell me. At 560 shillings per piece. Let me tell you. Some of these guys take advantage, especially when they hear that it's a lady on the other end and they think you don't know what you're saying. They think you're new to this. Because I'm like, why does he keep insisting, asking me how much I'm charged? Don't worry about how much I'm charged. I'm like, when I've told you your price is too high, it's because I know it's not my first time buying these things. Like, I would not buy from that person. So now, even when I'm calling the Buddha guy, he's like, eh, 250. The guy's like, hmm. Because I was told the total at it was like 329 something. I'm like, excuse me, Connie, how much is it per piece? Because Mimi, I knew it was not going to be more than 1200. I already knew it wouldn't be more than 1200. How much has it come down to? A thousand bob. A thousand. And I know if it was Karanja, it would be even cheaper. I know this. I mm, Don't joke with me. I'm not new in the streets, my friends. All right. I am so. I've drawn my entire line all the way to the to where it goes up. This is the top. Yes. Which means this is this side. Ha! Ah, that's the second time I've done that. Okay, so now the idea is that that gets there. Ha! Ah, from there. Okay. Come here. This is a whole process. Like a workout.
of all, just see how cute this look. How pretty! Yay! But they're here. Uh, they're here. It is straight. It's straight. You can't see, but it's straight. Hey. Okay. So I can actually, I can actually put like um. A piece of bow at the base, right? To lift the door as I measure exactly where I need the thing is to be. Uh, so this lifts up Kidogo. Yeah. This is the handle that I had bought. So I bought this uh, on River Road. There's a shop I go to. It's called bumper hardware so there was a larger one that was like around this size here on the display but they didn't have it in stock and the display piece had been there for years because i think that mini is short short no it's um it's an old whatever so <clears throat> i ended up picking this one but now against the door so my plan was to paint it you guessed it matte black so i'm gonna turn this part of the floor into a workshop for getting all this done today but hey, we keep moving so I'm gonna leave the this setting um, the silicone to dry and then we see how this um, top whatever will be like in the morning so I'm gonna leave that for the night and then we'll do the rest of everything else tomorrow my clothes are still there and the pile is getting bigger and that's my bed so where I'm going to sleep is a very good question, but I'm sure I will find some space somewhere in here. Hiya, see you tomorrow. Let's go. Okay, I'm just driving it. Like, I'm literally dragging it on the floor. Charge me. A girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do, okay? Hiya, lean. Can slide it. My thought was if I can slide it over. No. Okay. This one is not fitted inside Kabisa. No. No. Okay. I think 
that lower, but then you drop a bit. I need to step on this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yes. 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 And it's just rolling. That's with the door open. That's as far as like. to be like this it should still work I was so freaked out okay. oh wow also I don't know I don't I'm glad I didn't do two less because it should have been really thick and then maybe it wouldn't have rolled as easily as it does Because I had said I had five. Because then I'm like, then I just use one blue instead of two. But then I like both blues. So, mine is quite translucent. It's not, um, it's not a tea, what's the word? It's not opaque. So the light will still go in. Now it will just be colored light. I want to remove this because that I show you. Uh, that's what that looks like. Okay, I still want this. <laughs> Dude, look at that. Like it's. That's what it looks like. That's the red. That's the red. So I've decided to do the front because it's going to be easier for me to stick the paper with it on the wall like this versus there from the back and it's like singing, swinging. So I've decided I'll just do the front. It's gonna be so much easier because then I can use the wall as an anchor. So I am ready to get started. I think I sort of have an idea of the color combination because you know these things are looking so much darker here but like I know once they go on the door it's gonna be a completely different whatnot. So I've decided we're gonna do yellow, green, whatnot, pink, blue and then red at the base, okay? Fingers crossed that that will look good. Now I'm gonna start. I wanna start with this one, cause height manenos. Okay, we are the same height. Uh, so I wanna start with that one, and I just realized I did not carry my spray bottle. Did I'm going to use <laughs> a SIM card thing. How is this? This battery was not charged. What is going on? Wow. Okay, I'm gonna use a whatever card as my squeegee, cause I can't find my cards for doing this. I'm gonna use a knife to cut the edges and then this is a spray bottle that has water and a bit of soap this is what we're going to use to help us remove air bubbles and everything in between and I also have a scraper just in case I need extra something the only thing is like I'm, I'm not sure if I trust a scraper because it's, it's like it might guara the paper that's why I have the plastic so wish me luck so I'm supposed to start by wetting the window, or rather spray. 
Okay? I don't want to waste this nini, a lot of it. So I know like for instance, like this edge over here, I know I can bakisha a portion of it. Maybe I'll use that somewhere. Before the... That battery dies. <laughs> I did not expect that. Uh, so the battery died and that happened. So we can still do it from this other side. I just have to be a lot more careful. Um, so now what I have to do is be smart. Okay, again. <laughs> hey. I'm just Don't prove me